Have you ever wondered where the concept of Armageddon, the end of all things, originated? It's a question that has fascinated, terrified, and intrigued humanity for centuries. The term Armageddon has its roots firmly planted in the fertile soil of ancient religious texts, specifically the Bible's Book of Revelation. Here, it was first mentioned as the prophesied location of a climactic struggle between the forces of good and evil. The word Armageddon itself is a transliteration of the Hebrew Harmageddon, which roughly translates to Mountain of Megiddo. This geographical location in modern-day Israel, steeped in history and bloodshed, is said to be the destined battlefield where this apocalyptic conflict will occur. But Armageddon is not just about a physical location. Over time, it has evolved into a symbol. A symbol of a decisive and cataclysmic battle where the fate of the world hangs in balance. A symbol of the ultimate struggle between light and darkness, righteousness and wickedness, hope and despair. This is the essence of Armageddon, the final battle between good and evil. This concept is not confined to Christianity alone. It has permeated various cultures and religions around the world, shaping their eschatological beliefs. From the Norse mythology's Ragnarok to the Hindu concept of Kali Yuga, the notion of a world-ending cataclysm is a common thread that weaves through the tapestry of human belief systems. Think of Armageddon as the ultimate chess game, where the grandmasters of good and evil make their final moves. The stakes, nothing less than the fate of the universe. The battlefield, our very existence. The players, forces beyond our comprehension. The outcome, yet to be seen. Armageddon, then, is the symbolic battleground where the final fight between good and evil will take place. A concept as intriguing as it is terrifying, it continues to captivate our collective imagination even today. As we delve deeper into the mystery of Armageddon, remember, it's not just about the end. It's about the ultimate battle, a battle that will determine the destiny of all things. How has the concept of Armageddon seeped into our literature, films, and even everyday language? The concept of Armageddon has indeed permeated our collective consciousness, influencing the way we perceive and discuss the end of the world. It's a fascinating journey, tracing the path of this biblical term as it navigates its way through the avenues of popular culture. In literature, Armageddon often serves as a backdrop for apocalyptic and post-apocalyptic narratives. From H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds to Stephen King's The Stand, we see the concept morphing into various forms. These narratives often depict humanity's struggle against forces beyond their control, painting a vivid picture of the end times and leaving a lasting impression of Armageddon in our minds. Movies too have played a significant role in shaping our understanding of Armageddon. Blockbusters like Armageddon and Deep Impact have presented us with scenarios where the world teeters on the brink of destruction, only to be saved at the 11th hour. These cinematic interpretations, while not always true to the biblical description, have nonetheless contributed to the popular image of Armageddon as a catastrophic event of cosmic proportions. Beyond literature and cinema, the concept of Armageddon has also found its way into our everyday language. Phrases like, it's not exactly Armageddon, or this is my personal Armageddon have become common. Used to describe situations of great turmoil or disaster, these idioms, though often used in a non-literal sense, reflect the influence of the Armageddon concept on our linguistic and cultural landscape. Furthermore, the term Armageddon has been co-opted by various social and political movements to convey the urgency and severity of their cause, further reinforcing its association with cataclysmic change. So, whether it's the ominous threat of an alien invasion, a deadly plague, or simply a figure of speech, Armageddon has infiltrated our culture in more ways than one, shaping our perceptions, our stories, and our language. Thus, Armageddon has become a cultural shorthand for any cataclysmic event that could potentially end the world. How do modern interpretations of Armageddon reflect our current fears and anxieties? This is the question we will explore in this scene. The term Armageddon has been thrown around in recent years to describe a variety of impending threats to humanity. It's no longer confined to the realms of religious prophecy, it's become a metaphor for the end times, for the ultimate disaster. 
And these modern interpretations of Armageddon, they tell us a lot about what we fear today. Consider climate change, for instance. It's a slow-moving, almost invisible catastrophe, yet its potential for destruction is immense. Some have likened it to a creeping Armageddon. It's not hard to see why. Rising sea levels, more frequent and severe weather events, mass extinction of species. These are the images that come to mind when we think of Armageddon today. Our fear of climate change reflects our anxiety about the fragility of our planet and our role in its degradation. Then there's the specter of nuclear warfare. The Cold War may be over, but the threat of nuclear annihilation still looms large. The idea of a sudden, cataclysmic event that wipes out civilization in a flash. It's a classic Armageddon scenario. Our fear of nuclear war reflects our anxiety about the power of our own destructive technologies. And let's not forget about pandemics. The recent global health crisis has shown us just how vulnerable we are to infectious diseases. The scenes of overwhelmed hospitals, of cities under lockdown, they have a certain apocalyptic feel to them. Our fear of pandemics reflects our anxiety about our interconnected world and the unseen dangers it carries. In each of these examples, the concept of Armageddon serves as a potent symbol of our deepest fears. It's a way for us to articulate our anxieties about the future, to grapple with the enormity of the challenges we face. In this sense, Armageddon serves as a mirror to our collective anxieties about the future and the survival of our species. Can Armageddon be seen not just as a prediction of doom, but also a call to action? A provocative question indeed, but one worth considering. Armageddon, a concept deeply rooted in the Bible, has seeped into the consciousness of various cultures and religions. It has become a cultural shorthand for any cataclysmic event that could potentially end the world. But could this symbol of ultimate destruction also serve as a rallying cry for humanity? Throughout history, we've seen how the fear of impending doom can galvanize people into action. The concept of Armageddon, with its apocalyptic undertones, could similarly be interpreted as a call for proactive measures to prevent potential catastrophes. It could encourage us to critically examine our actions and their impact on the world and inspire us to take steps towards change. Modern interpretations of Armageddon reflect our current fears and anxieties about the future of our planet. From climate change to nuclear warfare, these looming threats are real and immediate. Armageddon in this context can be seen as a metaphorical warning, urging us to address these issues before it's too late. But what role does faith play in all of this? For many, the concept of Armageddon is deeply intertwined with spirituality. It's seen as a divine prophecy, a predetermined fate that's beyond our control. But if we view Armageddon as a call to action, it changes the narrative. It suggests that we have the power to shape our own destiny, that our actions can influence the course of events. This interpretation doesn't negate the role of faith. Instead, it emphasizes the importance of human agency in conjunction with divine will. It suggests that while we may not have control over everything, we can certainly strive to make a difference. Perhaps then, Armageddon is not just a prophecy of destruction, but also a challenge for us to shape our own destiny. It's a reminder that we have the power to affect change, to make choices that can potentially avert catastrophe. It's a call to action urging us to take responsibility for our planet and for our future. 